Good morning, dear gentlemen. You are watching Captain Timur English channel, and today we are going to talk about the knowledge of English language and ability to communicate in English as the key factor of success of your career in the sea. Uh, for the moment, most of the information are handled, processed by computers. The calculations are processed and made by computers. But communication is still made by human, you know. In the shipping industry, your ability to communicate and to deliver information timely, to deliver information uh, in the right, correct way, will define your success. You, if you are able to speak properly, if you are able to express your thoughts, if you know what the most important things you have to say uh, be sure you will be promoted otherwise uh, you will not see success whatever technical knowledge you have never mind uh, it makes no use unless you are not able how to express and how to communicate with other people we have to study English in order to be successful in our career and in our profession what we carry out working abroad uh, in a shipping industry okay what was the story of my English language of my English language mastering uh, what I have for the moment uh, uh, it's not perfect it's very far away from perfect unfortunately um, but it allows me to speak on daily basis and uh, actually I'm reading I'm speaking and all my working environment is the English speaking I was studying in the high school and the first uh, English language lessons was uh, done by me when I was in the first grade I was about six or seven years old seven years old and uh, the English language was present in my uh, school until the graduation of my school but unfortunately uh, it has done uh, nothing for me in this respect and when I have graduated the school I could not get my certificate from the ordinary school I could not pass the examination because my English language level was very very poor but I had a dream I was very inspired by the idea to become a seaman and I honestly wish to become seaman to become an officer and to navigate the ships, to keep the watch on the bridge and to be an officer. For that moment, it was uh, appearing for me as very, very successful and uh, something, something the best I can achieve in this life. So when I joined Marine School in uh, Rostov-on-Don, Russia, and uh, during my education time, I started easy, easy to master the English language. Uh, I was using some uh, ordinary textbooks, probably the one you can see on your screen. When I was sailing in my first practice, my first voyage uh, during the education uh, in the college, I, I went to the big practice and my position was the AB, able seaman. Uh, I was also studying hard on board after the 10 hours of the working days uh, I was uh, sitting about one hour per day with the English language my vessel was trading in, in the ports of India Saudi Arabia uh, Ethiopia uh, and uh, other places where the English is widely spoken but the level of this English is not so good honestly saying it was good actually because you know I was practicing I was practicing but I was not complexing that my English is very poor because the people I spoke with their English was very poor as well after the coming back from the from this practice from the from my first contract I felt that I am able to speak English in a fluent level. I can explain the things on board and generally I could work with the foreign crews. In 2004 I became an officer and I was working on the bridge but the cruise was completely Russian speaking and I did not have a, 
ability and chance to speak uh, constantly my English language and uh, I was still improving it, uh, studying the English uh, using the various textbooks and in 2006 uh, I have started to read the English language books I mean the solid editions, the thick, the, the just normal books and uh, I did not care do I understand or not I was just reading and even if I had no idea generally after the reading couple of pages what what was inside I did not care I was just kept reading and after reading one big book about 500 pages I realized that despite I have not understood about 40 percent of the words but I understood the history of the book. Finally, I realized that I read the book. Since that time, I'm not translating English words anymore. Uh, this is the bag. I'm not saying, uh, I'm not translating this to the Russian language. I'm just remember this as a bag. It was okay. I had a basic, I have a basic, I have a, some minimum vocabulary in order to understand. And uh, during that contract, I was replenishing my vocabulary. So easy, easy, uh, up to becoming uh, a captain, I was working more and more with MOOCs, mixed crew and uh, uh, the English language became prevalent in uh, my environment and the companies I'm working in were English language, uh, uh, I mean the working language on board was 100% English, no Russian, no any other languages. In uh, 2018, I joined uh, my first job ashore uh, in the shipping company as marine superintendent and it was the new level of my English upgrade. I just compared my English with the people who live constantly in English speaking uh, environment. I just compared my level with the people who have graduated from university in the England and I also saw the way how do I speak and I saw the way how speaking my colleagues with the ugliest English language when the Russians speaking English like good morning do you like to speak with the agent yes please pilot on board is 1300 and I realized that it's not cool very big push in order to improve my English again and for the moment uh, I'm still improving my English I'm listening other people, I'm uh, getting the new words, I'm replenishing my vocabulary and uh, this process is still not completed. And something I realized that uh, there is always room for improvement. That's it gentlemen, uh, this is all I was going to say in this video, hope you like it. There is some delay in the publishing video. I would like to apologize because I have not enough time. I'm very busy and uh, uh, creation of the good content uh, takes time. But sometimes I don't have time. But uh, be sure the content will come. Thank you very much for your attention. You are watching the Captain Timur English channel. Uh, see you in the next videos. Bye bye.